Hi, welcome to Cargo Film Presents. I'm Dave. I'm Dan. On Cargo Film Presents, we talk about documentary film, what we think you should watch, and why. Today, we'll be uh, talking about Asif uh, Kapadia's Diego Maradona, a 2019 film, which looks at the career of, of celebrated football player Diego Armando Maradona. Of course, uh, unless you've been uh, living in a cave last week, you would have heard that Maradona died at the relatively young age of 60. The film is not a point-by-point -point biography, although it does you know, function as that somewhat, but it mainly looks at uh, Maradona's arrival in uh, Naples in 1984 uh, for a world record fee coming after two years in Barcelona. And uh, and, and the film encompasses the main highlights of uh, his playing career and, um, you know, some of his more salacious personal uh, uh, details of, of arguably you know, one of the sport's most uh, skilled players. Uno era Diego. Era fachero. Super cariñoso. Super inteligente. Y otro era Maradona. Una persona distinta. Uh, Asif Kapadia is a Oscar winning filmmaker for his work on Amy about Amy Winehouse, but also was critically acclaimed for his film Senna about Formula One driver uh, Ayrton uh, Senna. Over to you, Dan. Yeah, as we know, uh, as you mentioned, Kapadia has this um, sort of style and, and formula that he, he likes to use for his films, Senna and Amy, they're um, all archival, you know, which is, mm -hmm. which is quite interesting is that he sort of uh, digs into the archives to find um, in some cases, never before seen footage, um, also mixed with news footage, paparazzi footage. So, um, you know, we get a, a sort of mediated look um, at, you know, celebrity, um, uh, this sort of, tragic um, and flawed geniuses that, that he explores their lives in, in an attempt to sort of humanize them, um, you know, uh, in, the, in the kind of tragedies uh, and the price of, of fame and celebrity. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Maradona um, certainly fits, fits the bill. Oh yeah. Everyone recognizes Maradona as one of the greatest players, football players to ever, ever play the game. Um, you know, it, unimpeachably the greatest perhaps of all time. Um, and, uh, you know, so we're just sort of assume that, but, you know, I think what's really interesting in the film, it sort of takes us at, into the moment um, when he became that icon, when he sort of achieved mythic status and that all happened in Naples. Um, and, you know, I think in the film, someone says, you know, the story of, of Diego Maradona is, you know, in, in, intertwined with the story of Naples. Right. I mean, he was, um, you know, uh, uh, mainly responsible for bringing the, 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 the first championship to, to that city. And, um, and, you know, so obviously that you, you are become a automatically a mythic character for, for having uh, done so. Um, you know, the, the, um, the film starts with those, you know, very slick opening credits uh all, all kapadia was missing was it was like a disco ball in the credits right <laughs> uh and you know you're in this speeding car and you got the camera peering out the front windshield driving really fast and and recklessly you know and where else can you be but but in naples um you know so and 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 as you say you know it, and it starts with that this pretty incredible sequence of him arriving at the uh, Naples uh, stadium uh, where he has just finished the press conference and uh, the, the stadium is just jammed and absolutely, you know, to the rafters to, to welcome him uh, to, to Naples. So it's, it's, it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the, of the film of, of uh, what, you know, the, the ups and downs of his uh, career and his personal life and in, in, in uh, that part of his life. Certainly one of the one of the best documentary openings I've seen in a long time, and I think maybe that was some of the footage that he uh, Capati had uh, unearthed, um, or you know right. his team had found. I think you know at the tail end of working on Amy, they had come across some of this footage, and I, and I, I I think that might be it because it is just epic. I mean you know in this in this time I think we're you know we maybe we. Um, we're a bit cynical, or we've seen a lot of sort of stadiums full of people, and there's mm -hmm. so much sort of 
management and, and hype and sort of production around celebrity. But like these people thought he was the Messiah, like he was coming to save Naples. And, you know, interestingly, you know, Maradona from the sort of slums from a very poor background, um, you know, and Naples itself is in the south of Italy has a sort of reputation um, of being looked down upon by the north. Um, you yeah. know, and so it was just this perfect alchemy, this match, you know, that Maradona was going to be the, the sort of Messiah, the savior to bring Naples to glory. And he delivers, you know, he <laughs> remarkable. Yep. Yeah. La ville la plus pauvre d'Italie est engage donc le joueur le plus cher du monde. Napoli non ha mai il primo posto, non l'abbiamo provato. Fue nos salvó, nos. Para eso fue el dios. Yeah, I mean, uh, he does he does do that and and uh, you know, it come kind of comes in there uh, with a chip on on his shoulder. Uh, I guess uh, you know, like uh, like Naples, the, the, the city of Naples has uh, in respect to the the rest of Italy, and uh, really embodies uh, you know that city so much so that even um, you know he, he, after he had won the World Cup uh, and he wins the the city's first championship, uh, he wins the World Cup for Argentina, of course. Um, you know he he he's he describes winning the, the first championship in Naples as his greatest. Uh, you know, professional uh, accomplishment, even more so than the uh, World Cup win in, uh, with, with Argentina. Uh, it, it just goes to show how much that, you know, the city uh, had become, had, uh, had grown to uh, mean to him. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the film looks at what, you know, his trainer describes as the sort of two sides of Diego Maradona, which is the one, which is Diego, who is the sort of shy, insecure, sweet kind of kind you know boy from the sort of slums of of argentina mm -hmm. and then there's maradona you know which is the character he has to invent or create to deal with you know the the attention that he gets from the media from the public you know which is is sort of brimming with confidence and is arrogant and is just you know you can't sort of you can't touch diego um or touch maradona i should say and so the film sort of looks at throws up these you know these are the two sides of maradona and, and ultimately you know um one side sort of takes over and you know the film does then look at the um the kind of tragic downfall uh of of maradona as you know he gets his his drug habit sort of increases and also he he becomes preyed upon by the camorra which is the uh the, the mafia there in naples yeah yeah i mean listen there there's a, a enough story you know in that period of time to to tell um you know the, this um to, to to go on to go on this you know pretty pretty um roller coaster ride with with maradona i mean um you know it, it's um it, it's it's not a long reign as as the top player in the world uh but but you know there's a lot of stuff that goes on between 84 and and 89 yeah. and like you see in some athlete profile docs or just profile docs you know filmmakers will sometimes dig deeper and try to portray the the inner life of of that athlete or that celebrity in order to maybe understand the, the brilliance and and the weaknesses and i feel in this film you know they only superficially address that internal life and and it's okay like i say i i enjoyed the um, the, the film as it's presented, but, but, you know, the, I, I didn't notice this distinction of, of really not, um, you know, digging too deep, uh, as you see in a lot of these profile docs and, and what Kapadia did also with a film like a Amy, where you did get uh, to see the, the more vulnerable parts of, of Amy Winehouse's, uh, uh life. So, you know, it, it occurred to me that, uh, you know, they depict, Maradona is, uh, Maradona is this indomitable, this indomitable will and spirit of taking over a game or an entire tournament like he did in, in the World Cup. You know, where does he get that, you know, that, that, that strength? You know, I mean, it, it, it's not really explored. You know, and what was it about the, the drugs and his situation that, that made him succumb so, you know, um, uh, so strongly to, 
in such a devastating way to, to, to drugs and, and to that lifestyle. So as I say, I, I am fine with the choices that the filmmakers have made to, to tell the story as they did, but, um, but you never really hear too much about how he was as a person. Yeah, they mentioned a couple of times that he was this kind of sweet, smart, nice guy, but you know, you can say that about you know, three quarters of the, the, the globe. You know, and so you, you really don't get a sense of, of who he is. Was he generous? You know, was he, you know, friendly? You know, uh, again, not necessary, but, um, you know, I would, like, I would like to see that story told at some, some point as well. A nivel psicológico, esto lo turbaba. Entonces, Maradona se impuso. Empecé a notar que él quería buscar una salida. Yeah, I agree with you. I think, it, you know, it seemed like um, Capote and his team had kind of a hard time, um, you know, penetrating Maradona's psychology and, and, you know, the sort of decisions that he made. And I think, like you point out, you know, you, you do see that in, in his previous docs with Amy and um, Senna, where, you know, you, you do get those layers of personality and psychology, the vulnerabilities, the insecurities, mm -hmm. but Maradona, like, it just seems as if you can't, you know, you can't get inside of him. I mean, I don't know, you know, if that's just the nature of who he is, like he just refuses to let you in. And maybe his, his psychology is perhaps simpler in a sense and that like, he just, he, he wants to be loved and he sort of loves the people in this sort of grand extravagant way. And he just wants to live, you know, life to the sort of fullest and extreme. But I do think, yeah, there was, there was that element missing to it. And in its place, we got a lot of, you know, football highlights, which usually I love. I love, I love football. I'm, you know, mm -hmm. a massive fan, but I did feel like, you know, it's sort of overcompensated by just showing a lot of, um, you know, footage of Maradona doing sort of incredible tricks and eluding defenders and all, all those right. kinds of things as compensation for that, which, you know, I think was unfortunate. I just, I, it seemed like it didn't, you know, it didn't know where to sort of, um, to go by the end, mm -hmm. because in those other, you know, sort of Capadia films, you have, um, you know, these stars die young essentially. And so that becomes, you know, the ending to, um, you know, getting so much fame and success so early is that they, mm -hmm. you know, Amy Winehouse dies young and Senna dies young, but Maradona goes on. I mean, yeah, you know, it never was quite the same after, um, you know, he was banned um, by uh, the, the Italian league and eventually I believe FIFA, you know, for a year and then his sort of drug addiction spiral. But, you know, he did go on afterwards to eventually manage clubs and to manage the, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, Argent Argentina national team yep. side. and. Um, coach in Mexico and you know he'd always pop up at games pal around with like left-wing socialist presidents like Fidel Castro and you know uh, Evo Morales and all these people so you know he still continued to live his life in in that same sort of extravagant uh, Maradona-esque way and so yeah it just didn't like was it wasn't clear like was he was he a victim of his circumstances and you know uh, Naples turning against him was he sort of a monster you know he 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 um, famously re you know rejects the idea that he has a son with mm -hmm. a, a woman outside of his relationship and that really you know that doesn't get much um, you know a, a explanation or exploration so yeah I think it was a really hard um, portrait to make and yeah, hey, it's Maradona. He he even is able to sort of elude Capati, I guess, like he's eluded so many defenders <laughs> in his life. Well said. Well said. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah. I, you know, the uh, I, I was thinking that perhaps it might have something to do with the fact that Maradona was still alive while Capati was uh, making this film, unlike you know Senna and and Amy. Um, uh, so it, it makes me think that perhaps. Um, that even the people who know and, and love uh, Maradona were probably perhaps more reluctant uh, to, to really dig into, uh, you know, what they really thought about Maradona. And, and perhaps you might get a different take and not now that he's, he's gone. Uh, yeah. You know, I, you, do get, you do get the sense that Maradona is someone um, who, who, you know, when as he gains that lofty status of, you know, arguably best of all time, 
uh, you know, you probably don't want to get on his on his bad side <laughs> right. uh, if you're in his circle. So the people who probably know him best, you know, probably uh, were, were cautious with what they uh, said. So I think they, you're right. I think, you know, Kapadia's team perhaps only can penetrate so much because of these uh, circumstances, um, uh, you know, as, um, but, but it could be a different story uh, now. That's uh, true. Yeah. Con Diego iría hasta el fin del mundo, pero con Maradona no daría un paso. Yo no andaría día. Diego, ya tengo. I read, you know, briefly in an interview, he was saying that Capati was saying that, you know, he was supposed to sit down and interview Maradona, and you know, Maradona was giving him the runaround. I think they were supposed to do some some filming or interviews in uh, Dubai or somewhere, and. You know, mm -hmm. him and his crew were just sitting and waiting, and Maradona's team would say, "Yeah, maybe tomorrow, maybe right. tomorrow." <laughs> thing, and, um, you know. <laughs> so yeah, get, get yeah I mean, you know, it, it, it's uh, that happens to to individuals that have uh, runaway success, like like a guy like that uh, has. Sometimes, yeah, you you just feel like you can treat people like they want. So, to me, that that's. You know that's an indication as to who Maradona is as a person today. Uh, probably yeah. not when you know he was starting out, um, but 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 that gives me more information about who he is today than anything we see in the film. You know, uh, as a person as opposed to uh, an ath an athlete. You know, so you know you mentioned how Capadia's um, you know method is is archive only. Uh, I'm not sure about. I know Senna was like that. I'm not sure about Amy. I feel like Amy, I do recall seeing some talking heads, her dad, for instance. Uh, but, but you know, he, he uses the same model here in Maradona as he does in Senna, which is all um, archive. And, and you know, you, you do uncover stuff. Apparently, I did read that, um, you know, there's a lot of this stuff. I've just never seen the light of day. And, and, and so you have these, you know, nice moments of, of him with his, you know, when, when, when he, first has a baby um, that he acknowledges, you know, with his first wife. Uh, there's some nice home movies there. And, and there's, a, there's this really beautiful uh, audio uh, piece of, of when he wins the World Cup and, and, and he speaks to his mom, uh, which, you know, is, is super touching because his mom is just so, so proud. And this is before you hear about, you know, all the, the drugs and all the personal problems and so on. So you still have this impression of Maradona as this, striving uh, individual that you know comes from nothing to to achieve such a great success so that, that i thought that packed a really powerful punch yeah yeah absolutely i think uh, you know i was, was reading that he said what you know one of his great regrets was you know not having another day with his mom you know i mean this is the kind of guy he was like he just right. i mean i think it's sometimes we um maybe perhaps overanalyze athletes or you know try and find these sort of deep hidden corners of of their psyche or something but i think you know in some ways maradona is like you kind of know what you get with with him and he's just a guy with uh a massive you know a massive heart um you know he sort of says and does what he wants and you know ultimately that <laughs> that led him into into trouble you know as as the documentary you know explores but <laughs> Sì, a diventare un ostaggio. Quando mi vuole entrare alla cancia, si va la via, si va tutto. Um, yeah, I, I hear you there, and I, and I wish they would have ex just explored that a little bit further. Yeah. If indeed, that was the case. You know, I mean, that that this moment with his mom, yes, speaks to someone who ha has a, at least a, 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 a you know special place for his family that he hasn't forgotten, and. Yeah. and you, you wish you had seen a little bit more of, of that. So just to give him, uh, to give uh, him in the, uh, uh, this other dimension in, in the film. I agree. I agree. You know, and he just, he just doesn't necessarily fit that, that mold or that, that formula of, you know, the, the, the yeah. tragic romantic, you know, star undone by, you know, drugs and perhaps, you know, malign forces that right. you know, we saw right. in sort of a Amy, you know, it's just not, not quite the same, I think, with Maradona. I mean, he, you know, he seems to, um, not that he has more agency necessarily, but, you know, he seems to be aware of his, his choices. And I think, you know, he, after he did 
um, get banned from football and struggled with with the, you know with addiction for a long time, which is sort of where the film ends, as if to say, you know, well, this is a, a film about you know maybe coming to terms with addiction. You know, he he sort of did, but then you know he he did go on to have uh, you know a, a very rich and full life after that, and still wrestling with these demons. Like I think that's it's it was it was always sort of unresolved in some way for him, like to resolve this idea of living just a, a grand, extravagant powerful life you know and somehow <laughs> dealing with the baggage that comes along with that you know it just it wasn't resolved as as um, you know maybe as sadly and tragically in, in in death early death as amy and, and senna right yeah i mean the way the, the film ends it does give you this indication that that he almost leaves a broken man and you catch up you know with him 20, 25 years later, as he right. does, he gives the interview on Argentinian television about his, uh, you know, battles with with drugs and stays in hospitals and and so on and so forth. So, um, so there, there you have it. Uh, you know, it's, um, you know, I, I I read something that they, you know, they 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 describe Capati as this kind of pop art uh, filmmaker. Uh, it, you know, aside from the fact that his films are about celebrities and famous athletes, but just like say somebody like a, a Warhol who would repurpose everyday objects and present them as you know something else, uh, more artistic. Uh, you know, Capadia does that with archive footage, makes you look at the archives in in a different way uh, with the context that he uh, gives them. Mm, you know, I like I, I like the idea of that. Um, I'm not completely convinced. So, uh, any last words? You know, well, I, you know, Maradona, uh, as, as people have said this past week and last week, you know, God is dead in some way. He was, right. he was a God uh, of the game. And, you know, I think it's just important to remember that, you know, there are, I think some fans were saying, you know, um, there's what Maradona did to his life mm. and there's what Maradona did to our lives. And, mm. you know, I think that was important for people to remember is like, yeah, we, we recognize that, you know, personally, he's a he's a, he's a flawed man, but you know the sort of joy and passion that he gave to millions of people, not only Naples but Argentina as well. Mm -hmm, be, mm -hmm. You know, I, I guess pointed out that the sort of pride that he gave to Argentina after you know the the Falklands War and that that whole correct debacle yeah. that that uh, the film also touches on the national pride that he instilled, and yeah, just the way he became a kind of global ambassador for the game. Um, you know, and just some of those sequences, yeah, just make you smile. Him, you know, keeping up the ball for, you know, as long as he wants. I mean, it just, he had that, that magic. He was just a sort of a shaman um, mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. the game. And, you know, it's just, he's got that particular voodoo that I think people will always, will always remember and, and, and always go back to when they're, when they're looking at, you know, who are, who are some of the greats of the game. Yeah. A great one indeed. Well said. A nice closer. So ch check out the film. It, it's, yep. uh, it's, it's a good watch as a reminder of uh, his extraordinary uh, career, uh, but, it, but it leaves us uh, wanting a, a little bit more. Uh, so maybe to be continued. All right. Thanks for checking us out and, uh, you know, leave us comments or questions if you've got any um, and uh, see you next time. Take it easy.